Hi everyone, Donut here. Hear me out before you jump off of here and you don't listen to the ad that I'm about to play. A small police department in Tennessee hit me up and they said, we responded to an active shooter and we don't have patrol rifles, but it ended up not actually being an active shooter and they had a huge pucker factor. I am having writer's block and I can't come up with much content, so I'm apologizing beforehand. I gotta run this ad today or I'm not gonna get the money to buy this entire small police department patrol rifles. If I run this ad today, I get the money for mybookie.ag and then I can buy this small department patrol rifles and hopefully there's enough left over to get them some armor because they need that too. And tactical medical kits and maybe a shield. I don't think I can get them all that, but I can at least get this small department of eight people patrol rifles. Go back to where I'm saying I'm apologizing. I jumped on stream at like 3 a.m. this morning. It was like, help me make a video so that I can do this ad to get this department rifles. I don't wanna miss out on this opportunity to do this for these police officers because the ad has to be done before the football game tomorrow. I don't know shit about football. Um, bu Bucks, the Buck, the Tampa Bay Bucks and the Dallas Cowboys. What I'm saying is the content was kind of thrown together for this video. But if you watch it, they're gonna give me more money and then I can use that money to help more small police departments who don't even have rifles, which is crazy in this day and age. And then I'll make a whole video about that too. On to the ad. Do you like free money? Um, Basically, if you bet on the game tomorrow night, you, you're gonna make money. It's the lock of the season. I have no idea what that means. But if you didn't know, a game hasn't ended 0-0 since World War II, so it's a sure bet you win money. So if there's any points scored on this game tomorrow night, you win money. I have no idea how it works, but it's free money. If you bet up to $27.50, it pays out for sure $25. They're doing all sorts of promos that give you money. If you're a new person to mybookie.ag and you're registering with the code DONUT, they'll match whatever your initial deposit is up to a thousand dollars so if you deposit 500 bucks they'll match it with 500 bucks if you deposit a thousand dollars they'll match it with another thousand dollars it's not a bad deal if you're into sports betting so go ahead check it out use the code donut again go over to mybookie.ag use the code donut click the link in the description below deposit a little bit of money and you're gonna win some money if the team scores tomorrow or you know deposit some money and your initial deposits doubled I like free money. On to whatever we did on stream last night, which is mostly talking about what was inside the pockets of crackheads. I brought you all here in the wee hours of the morning because I have a writer's block. I have content creator block. In order to put an ad out, I have to have content. And I am just like, I've been for the past like six hours, been like, what do I do? I've been researching, I've been trying to find stuff. And I'm like, I don't know how to make any of this entertaining. Just review the Jericho. The Jericho. Oh my God, I just bought it today. You guys recognize what anime this is from? I saw it at uh, Monachima Firearms, Monachima Firearms, which is the the uh, the gun store that's inside Black Rifle Coffee Company uh, in Bernie. And I was like, I got, I need that. I need that. Dude, it is the gun that Spike from Cowboy Bebop uses the entire series. Something funny I kind of wanted to show you guys though. The picnic table destroys meth dealer video that I did last week. Some of the comments are amazing because I asked in the video, police officers out there, or EMS or first responders, anyone, what's like the craziest thing that you found in someone's pockets? Meth heads, crackheads, they always have something interesting in their pockets that doesn't make any sense to the average person. Taggart Harmley got searched a man in January and found a brick in his pocket, like a whole ass red brick. I asked the guy about it, high on methamphetamine, of course, and he responded, it's dangerous out here, gotta keep that thing on me. <laughs> so I guess it's a less than ideal weapon, but still better than a high point. <laughs> uh, SJ says, I fought a transient on PCP at a freeway overpass. Once we got him in cuffs, we pulled out a waterproof alarm clock, a broken Game Boy, and about 15 small baggies containing rocks, not drugs, just rocks individually bagged. We did not have the chance to ask him the reasoning for the rocks because he was still tripping out of his mind, strapped to a gurney. The weirdest thing I found in someone's pocket was a stick of almost melted butter. Not necessarily the weirdest thing I've pulled from a suspect's pocket, but his response was legit hilariously stunning. I was emptying his pockets when I found a bag of crystallized powder. I asked him, what the F is this? He looked me straight in the face, smiles high as a kite and said, that is high quality methamphetamine, sir. I used to know a meth person who would carry around half-eaten uncooked ramen noodle bricks in his pocket. He collected the seasoning packets like they were ancient coins from a lost civilization. This is funny on the video where the, the table took out that guy. I just love how YouTube's ad algorithm is suggesting picnic tables for me to buy. YouTube keeping us safe. That's amazing. Did anyone else get a picnic 
table ad from that? They just want you to put them around your house so burglars can't get in. Why no shootings? Twitch doesn't take kindly to people getting shot on their platform. Also, don't do the remember no Russian mission from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on Twitch. They don't really like that very much. It's not a picnic table anymore. It's a justice delivering table. Get that picnic table's badge number and get a superior kitchen table down there now. <laughs> Weirdest thing I ever took out of someone's pocket was two soft boiled eggs. They were shelled and he literally had them just raw dogging in his pocket. How the F he gonna eat them with all that jeans lint on them? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> So the weirdest thing you found in someone's pocket while searching them. Condom lube and a small book entitled Wildlife of Australia. When I asked him WTF, he just winked at me. <laughs> Shout out to my homie picnic table. He a real one. We found a guy with the head of an eagle and eagle talons in his backpack. Luckily, it wasn't his backpack, according to him. The bartender asked why the party carried their weapons into the bar. Mimics, replied the fighter. The bartender laughed. The party laughed. The table laughed. The party killed the table. Good times. Searched a guy the other day after I caught him stumbling around down an alley. I had him spread his legs and I hear a crunch. I asked him what that was and he shrugged his shoulders. Shit you not, homie. He had about 15 Doritos in his pockets. I asked him why and he said, I didn't want to go without a snack. <laughs> the Portland mayor came out and they have decided to cut trade and travel in Texas uh, amid abortion law outrage. And I don't want to get into the you know, the abortion law stuff. That's that's not my wheelhouse to talk about politics or abortion or any of that, but it's just such a funny response. Like, we're not gonna send Portland employees to Texas. Oh no, <laughs> like, we really wanted them here. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> yeah, Texas is absolutely shaking in their boots. The people who work for the government that would uh, not punish people for firebombing the federal courthouse can't come here oh no the people who work for the small government who kicked out federal officers who were actually cleaning up the streets oh no what is texas gonna do little uzi vert says fans ripped 24 million dollar diamond out of his forehead uh yeah didn't he get it like implanted in his forehead? Why would you think someone's not going to walk up and snatch that shit out of your head if it's worth $24 million? It's like, oh, I can support my family for the rest of my life. <laughs> Lil Uzi Vert said he was doing some crowd surfing at a recent music festival when someone yanked out the jewel embedded in his forehead. Serial burglar leads suspect who also assaulted a law enforcement officer leads police on pursuit through two counties. I wonder if he's going to reverse. Oh, no, no, no. We're on foot now. Damn, he just slipped out of there. Can't get away from the helicopter. Look, he's just he's just like, oh fuck this. He's like, I don't want my ass kicked. <laughs> I'm done with this. Criminal uses smoke screen. He did just kind of slip out of there while it was smoking. Look. <laughs> when I see this right here, I can hear Rich going, <gasps> Hacker. 